As Indiana approaches its bicentennial, many people are weighing in about where we've been and where we're going. Today, we're joined by a man who has made a living writing about Indiana's place in the world. Jim Madison is a professor emeritus at Indiana University, and he's here to talk about his book, Hoosiers, A New History of Indiana. Welcome. Thank you. Alex. So tell us, what is this book about? Well, it's a history of Indiana from the Ice Age to the present. And um, I try to explain, for example, why the soil here in Tippecanoe County is so fertile and mm -hmm. why growing corn here is a really smart thing to do, which right. humans have been doing for centuries. All the way up through uh, this guy named the Prophet, mm -hmm. the Prophet's Town, the Battle of Tippecanoe, where there are wonderful new stories to tell. And so Indiana founded 1816, we're approaching that bicentennial, we and where do we kind of stand? Are we looking okay as we go forward? Indiana's changed. There are all kinds of symbols and examples of change. The Subaru plant here in Tippecanoe County is mm -hmm. a wonderful example of globalization and of other changes. And I hope that in 2016, the kickoff in December 11th of this year, mm -hmm. Hoosiers will begin to look at our past, think about our present, and talk seriously about where we want to go in the next hundred years, or the next generation at least. And you know, it took you three or four years to write this book, really put it all together, really decades in the making, of course. But tell us really how this came together that made you, what made you want to encapsulate really the centuries of history going back all the way to the Ice Age to now? Well, I'm kind of a history geek, I have to <laughs> confess that, Alex. But uh, I'm very impressed with the way in which Indiana has faced challenges mm -hmm. and successes, and particularly in the last generation. There's been dramatic change. And I tried to provide the context for those changes down to our own time, mm -hmm. to today. Yeah. And so many places, I think, if you ask people not from America, that when they think the United States, they think New York, or they think L.A., or they think a lot of other places. What, why should they think about Indiana? Oh, that, that burns me. Uh, does that it? burns me deeply. Yeah. And, uh, why should they think, think about Indiana? I think Indiana is really important. And those of us who claim to be Hoosiers have a special place and a special brand and a special culture. And it's not all good. Mm -hmm. There are things about Indiana that are not good, in my opinion. But there are lots of things that are very good and very interesting and very important. Whether they're good or not, we need to understand Indiana. And we need to understand these people that we proudly call Hoosiers. All right, Jim Madison, thanks very much. The book is Hoosiers, A New History of Indiana. Thank you again. And we'll be right back after this.